everyone this is going to be the reading for capricorn for september 2024 a tarot forecast for capricorn for september 2024 this can apply if you're a sun moon rising venus mars as well as north node in capricorn so be sure to check out the other signs in case this reading does not resonate with you also do keep in mind this is a general reading so not all the messages may re resonate so take whatever applies leave out the rest if you'd like to book a reading with me definitely drop me a message on facebook or email both the links are in the description box below and I'll get back to you soon. So I'm going to draw one or two more cards and then start your reading Capricorn. So I'm going to show you the cards that I'm getting. The first is the King of Swords. The next one is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Then we have the Hermit in reverse. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse and we have the Strength card in reverse. Okay. So Capricorn, I feel like in the recent past, you may have had some kind of... Um, um, I would say blow in terms of um, love and abundance especially because the ten of pentacles is that energy ten of pentacles is about being close to the ones that you love you know real abundance where you have the family you know the people close to you with you and I feel like that was missing from your life you may have gone into this kind of self-imposed isolation as well because I'm seeing the hermit card the Hermit card is very much about that energy. It's about self-imposed isolation. It's about not wanting to social, not wanting to socialize. Uh, a lot of introspection, figuring out what you want to do with your life next, and also shining the light on yourself and your path in front of you. Um, so maybe you were in that very introspective mood. You maybe weren't in the mood to socialize or go out there and mingle that much. Um, I'm also seeing the Strength card in reverse. And the Strength card, of course, it's a Leo card. But it's also about facing your demons, you know, looking at your shadow side and working with it and kind of healing and transforming transforming from it. There's a lot of guts that's required with the strength card because in on the card, the lady is literally putting their hand inside the lion's mouth. So there's a lot of risk taking that's involved here where you need to really look at your own so-called flaws and figure out how to, you know, how to use them to your advantage. That's why it's a strength card because you're using your so-called flaws to your advantage you know um, so it did require a lot of inner work I feel like you did go through that phase where you were in a kind of a hermit zone doing a lot of uh, shadow work on yourself I'm also seeing the king of pentacles in reverse king of pentacles is of course you know the card of Taurus and this is about uh, abundance especially material abundance and I feel like in the past um, you may have been very focused on that uh, for some reason you may have been very focused on the material realm of things uh, like especially getting money acquiring money uh, being financially self-sufficient all of that but I feel like uh, right now your energy is that of the king of swords this is an Aquarius card of course but it's more to do with uh, logic and reasoning rather than any kind of emotion now Capricorn you're not known to be the most uh, emotionally expressive sign out there um, you are ruled by Saturn, so there is a uh, there is a lot of met method methodology to you, or like you know, uh, routine regimentation, being strict about your rules, regulations. Also, uh, there's a very strong understanding in your DNA that you know uh, you have to work hard to get what you want, that kind of energy. So you're not that open to be emotionally expressive or emotionally vulnerable. That's not really your thing. And in the month of September. Uh, the King of Swords is asking you to just be more logic oriented, more practical and also be very vocal about your needs and your boundaries because sometimes Capricorn you don't do that. Uh, sometimes you can be very um, too responsible almost. You are a responsible sign like Capricorn is the sign of the adult so there is a lot of responsible energy with Capricorn. They grow up, they seem more mature than their years you know and so Sometimes the flip side of that is you don't really express your own wants and needs because you're so under the burden of fulfilling all those responsibilities that you don't want to communicate your own needs to other people. But the King of Swords is kind of asking you to do that. Like if there is something that's bothering you, you definitely need to make it known. Swords are about communication. So you have to be very clear in your communication and let somebody else know that this is not right or um, it's not acceptable to you. Unless you communicate that clearly, you will continue to feel dejected and uh, frustrated and the other person won't even know about it because you haven't communicated it, right? 
I want to clarify what this Ten of Pentacles is for Capricorn. What's this Ten of Pentacles? Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like there may have been a rift in the family. There may have been some kind of tension or argument with someone close in the family. Um, it doesn't always have to be a romantic connection. It just could be someone in your family circle, like your relatives or somebody like that. But there was a maybe some kind of rift or moving away from that person and that kind of took away your peace and happiness because nine of cups in the upright position is about that nine of cups in the upright position is about being content and happy with what you have it's very zen energy um it's like i said it's very um in the moment you know being happy with what you have but that was missing from your life because you kind of may have had this uh disagreement with so with someone close to you what is this king of pentacles energy for capricorn what's this king of pentacles energy was this king of pentacles energy we have the temperance card yeah so i feel like maybe you were too focused on getting money or earning money like sometimes capricorn you can be a bit of a workaholic uh, not gonna lie like you are known as the workaholic of the zodiac you can sometimes uh, in fact one of your coping mechanisms is to turn to work when things get a little bit overwhelming in fact that's how you kind of deal with your emotions as well but the temperance card is showing up here it is the card of Sagittarius but it's also the card of moderation so um, definitely continue to work and be efficient and make your money and all of that those good things but also be sure to be a little bit more moderate in your approach not to burn yourself out not to alienate people who are close to you in the process because sometimes your workaholic nature can earn you the reputation of being a little bit cold or distant from people that you love and maybe the ten of pentacles in reverse is a side effect of that maybe you got alienated from someone close to you because of this workaholic tendency so it's important to be moderate in your approach um, Definitely keep time for efficiency, productivity, making money, all of that. But also make time for those who are close to you, people who are close to you in your life. Uh, what is this Hermit card for Capricorn? What's the Hermit card for Capricorn? We have the Knight of Swords as a clarification. So there may have been, I feel like right now in the month of September, you are in this Knight of Swords energy, which is, uh, Gemini of course but uh, like I said in the past you may have been in that hermit energy which is very uh, almost reclusive you know self-imposed isolation looking at yourself working on yourself being very introspective all of that and now you're kind of in the zone of being more exploratory more inquisitive very Gemini like you know curious about the world exploratory about the world also going with the flow which is kind of different for you Capricorn because you generally like to be very strategic in your moves and maneuvers you don't like to take risks just like that but the Knight of Swords is about that Knight of Swords is um, uh, they don't uh, take things too seriously and sometimes you do need that energy sometimes you do need that in order to sort of push yourself and see what's out there and so I feel like it's a good welcome change for you to be able to do that in the month of September to really go out there and see what's happening and be a little bit more curious and exploratory about the world uh, what is this king of swords for Capricorn what's this king of swords what's this king of swords for Capricorn we have we have the Knight of Wands here as a clarification. So yeah, definitely be clear about your boundaries. The King of Swords is all about speaking very clearly about your boundaries, making it known, being more focused on logic and practicality rather than emotion. But the Knight of Wands is also showing you that it's important to be passionate about what you like, what you want, and go after what you want. Don't always be um, uh, so concerned about weighing out the pros and cons that you kind of miss out on the opportunity because sometimes Capricorn you can be too strategic so strategic that you end up wasting time weighing out the pros and cons and then you end up missing out the opportunity altogether whereas the Knight of Wands is Sagittarius energy this is about uh, not wasting time going after what you want and just uh, seeing what's out there um, you don't have to always uh, be contemplative about every single thing sometimes you can just go out there and have fun and that's sometimes the best way that things actually happen what is the overall guidance for Capricorn what does Capricorn need to know for September we have the page of cups here so don't dismiss emotions again cups are about emotions this could be someone who's trying to reach out to you could be a Pisces person but this could be someone who's trying to reach out to you uh, maybe wants to uh, start a relationship with you or just 
uh, wants to get close to you uh, but you may make the mistake of dismissing them because it doesn't seem important or it seems trivial or it doesn't seem that big of a deal to you but don't do that because uh, like i said you know people are important emotions are important connections are important so even if it doesn't seem like a really big deal don't uh, dismiss uh, people who are trying to reach out to you right that's what i have for you capricorn for the month of september if you like this reading do give it a thumbs up your likes help my videos stay relevant in the youtube algorithm and it also helps motivate me to deliver more content for you my lovely subscribers if you'd like to book a reading with me definitely drop me a message on facebook or email the links are in the description box below and i'll get back to you soon thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in my next video Bye bye